Hi, I'm Myra Castillo. And I'm Sochil Gonzalez, and thank you for joining us on Besties in Business B2B TV. Um, we're here in Brooklyn, New York at Ren Patina's wonderful studio, and we are so excited because today we're going to talk all things luxury and marketing with CC Johnson of CC New York and CC Style. Prior to CC New York, there really wasn't a market even existing for luxury paper and right. stationery and I think um, it's important to sort of note like what an innovation this was and like you know I, I, I really Thank like you. when we were starting out yeah. in the industry of weddings like stationery is such a big part of that and um, it really was the first kind of beacon of like that kind of high couture <laughs> take on paper goods so right. can you tell us wow. a little bit about the start <laughs> of I mean, yeah, I I know. Know. <laughs> <laughs> can you so, tell us a little bit about kind of the genesis of the idea and how you saw this sort of blue Ocean, if you will, yeah. like, and yeah. Yeah, well, so 10 years ago, like, um, 10 years this year, actually, I'm pretty proud of that. And it goes by, like, so fast, so you know? I know, fast. you, like, blink, and it's 10 years Yeah, later. and yeah. I honestly never, like, set out to be a wedding invitation designer, and even when I say that, I'm kind of like, but that's not really only, you like you said, it's right. not only yeah. what I do, and I guess maybe, because I always had a bigger picture in my mind, um, but, but truthfully, I was working in the consulting world, and I missed paper. I was doing all these website designs and working for big corporate clients, and it was great, but but my first job out of college was designing the wedding registry kit for Macy's and Bloomingdale's and all the federated department stores. That's so that was truthfully like the first time I started conceptualizing weddings and uh -huh. like learning this world a little bit from the outside, right? And my colleague loved everything that I was doing and she was engaged and so she asked me like, hey, could you do my wedding invitation? And I was like, Sure, sure. You know, why not? Like, it's a graphic design project. I'm a graphic designer. Sounds right. great, mm -hmm. you know? And I approached it completely differently than a typical flat standard card, you know, a centered text. To me, that was too boring. I wanted to do something really different and fun. And so I designed it into like a, a book, actually. It was a book with all these great printing techniques, and it's just really, really fun. So when I moved to New York, because I was, I'm originally from California. I was working in the consulting world doing web and just missed that paper. So mm -hmm. I went to the COO and I was just, honestly, because I wanted to just do it on the side. Like I right. just had right. a passion. I love design. I love paper and I missed it. So I showed her that invitation and she was like, oh my God, I love it. Like just name your price, do it. You're doing my invitation. So through word of mouth like that, wow. that's honestly how my business started. And I was just working full time in corporate world and then doing that on the side. And before I knew it, my name just got passed around and around to like perfect strangers. I saw the niche and I just went for it and started my business and like was working out of my apartment and just worked hard and kept going and before I knew it I've like grown my business now 10 years later I have about 20 people that work for me and we cater to the entire world we have everything from the princesses in the Middle East to wow. celebrities to the president of the United States and to people like you or I who just appreciate great graphic design and just love to look good. CC is very much a luxury couture brand it's a beautiful beautiful brand but I feel that you come, must come across this thing. Women find it very difficult to charge what we should be charging a lot right. of the times. I think we're, we have had those problems yeah. in the past. Yeah, no. How do you, you know, can you speak a little bit about that, about commanding what these invitations are worth? They're, right. you know. And um, charging unapologetically in yeah. a way. You know, like, because it, it's, it's a real thing that where I feel like a lot of people sell themselves, especially female business owners, right, sell themselves a little short sometimes. Right. Well, first of all, pricing is the hardest thing, right? Because right. I think as creatives, especially for me, that like you love doing what you love doing and you want to do it so bad mm -hmm. that you don't want that, like, ooh, it costs that much to get in the way. Right. Yes. But I just learned that, in the, and this is kind of just like from the very beginning, I remember, and I actually should give a lot of credit to my husband. Well, he's my boyfriend at the time, but now uh -huh. my husband. Uh -huh. <laughs> but um, he saw me working around the clock, you know, and just working hard. And he's like, what are you doing? You're not sleeping. You're like, what are you charging? Where's your sales plan? Mm -hmm. Where's your goals I was like what do you mean I'm just making everything look good and my clients are happy like why right. do I need that because you're the artist right 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 and so he sat me down and I swear it was just like the big turning point for me in the very beginning was that we made like I went through every single piece like the canvases if you will mm -hmm. um, I, I told, he asked me how many hours that he thinks that I take on it and you know you always underestimate you think five hours really it could be 50 yes. you know yeah and I put a value on my time I think my advice would be like when you start to realize your value and when you put a value on yourself and your own time mm -hmm. and you stand up for it because 
kind of it almost gives you that that ammo or that energy to be like right. you know what no like I'm yeah. giving you an amazing service yeah, right something that you've come to me for yeah. to get that you know one-of-a-kind service or, or me artistry design whatever and this is what it's worth right, right. and it takes finding that confidence I think within yeah. you to and also in your product and in that that is it, this is worth it, right? right? And like feeling, but it's not about. easy. It's I'm not, not sitting here saying it's but easy. But it's also the discipline, I think, because sometimes you're afraid to see like what's under, like the dust bunnies under the sofa, and you're like, I know I'm probably making five dollars an hour, but you're afraid to actually track the time or like right. to really right. look at, you take a to. hard look at what's really yeah. going on. But I think that's you a great to. exercise. Everyone should. I don't care if yeah. you're like one day in business or ten years no. or fifty years. What do you think sets it apart? Because you're more than just a. It's more than just you're providing people with. A, with paper products like right. it's really a brand experience right. and so like uh, what do you do to sort of in like touch that at all points I guess and, mm -hmm. and enforce the fact that it's a brand versus like yeah. just kind of like a sur like just one service like yeah. if that makes sense I knew that if I wanted to do the design that I love doing I didn't want to be a DIY brand or like a crafty cheap brand because it's not that, right, you know? Right. And That's I love the go really beautiful materials, and I love gold foil, and I love doing just like innovative, amazing designs. Like right. That's what, where my heart beats at, you right, know? Right. And it just, it, it's not cheap. So yeah. I guess um, I guess it just kind of all sort of fell into place. It falls into place, which makes But I sense. would say that like, it's, it's not like it's easy to know precisely, but maybe if you're starting out or if you analyze your business and go back and look at yourself and go, where, you know, where do I want to fall on that competitive landscape? When you think of like what, you know, your business, what you want it to be, for me, you asked how was I always wanting to be a luxury brand? Like I knew that I wanted to add, give that service right, because right. as a designer, as someone who's creating something personal for you, that's all part of it, right? Yeah, and so right. from the moment they walk into my door or they reach out to us, they're instantly being serviced and taken care of and hopefully just being blown away by before they even walk in the door mm. right. and then when they see my work they're like oh my god this is like icing on the cake like I, I'm, I'm dying I want right. to work with you I like, need right. to work you know, with you yeah right. a couple of years ago you launched CC Style yeah which is your weekly digital newsletter but mm -hmm. from our standpoint you know what like as business owners looking at it we're like ah that I, well that's very very smart because you're controlling your message mm -hmm. and you're also able to give people a little bit of insight into that that the experience of creating right. those things and like the story behind the creations and right. what inspires you and stuff but what i i also feel like with all the noise going on it's it's really interesting to see that you're controlling the message so what was sort of the kind of genesis of the idea but also like it seems like a tremendous amount of work. <laughs> right. <laughs> Truthfully, when it when I did it, like I launched it, I think three or four years ago. Oh wow! And it was it's, okay. It's pretty new. Yeah. And at the time, it was when you know everyone was social media became like this thing that every business owner had to do and. People were like, you gotta have a blog, you gotta be on Facebook, you gotta do Instagram, blah, 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 blah. And I was like, oh my God, like I can't, I wasn't on any of it, nothing. Uh, right. And I realized, I'm like, okay, if I'm gonna do a blog, I don't wanna just, and this is where my like designer marketing brain kind of right. kicked in. I'm like, I have to have a purpose, like I have to do it for a reason. I was actually truthfully like a guest blogger. I know we've done some stuff together, yeah, you know, mm -hmm. or like Style Me Pretty. Yeah. And I found when I didn't know what I was gonna write about, I would just like get so flustered right before, and I'm like, uh -huh. oh my God, I, does anybody care? Like, <laughs> I just don't know what to say, you know, right. and I just get caught up, like, that all those blockers would kick in, yeah. and then I wouldn't, I would just waste time, and I, it would be terrible. So what I did was I, like, looked at my whole business, right, and I was like, what do I find that people don't understand about me? Like, what are my biggest struggles? Mm. Like, people didn't even know I was a real person, first of all, which I was like, I'm human, <laughs> I hear, I'm here, I work for you, like, people were coming, like, is CC real? Like... <laughs> Do I, do I get oh to work with them? Like, and like people wouldn't believe that the art that they saw, like the pattern, like pretend I made this right. They'd be like, oh, you know, did, where'd you get that wallpaper? Or like, where'd you get that print? I'm like, like no, we, mm -hmm. I made it. Like, like I drew it. It's right. from my imagination, yeah, right. my hands. Like I made that for you, you right. know? And, and I have to when, admit that I was actually very surprised. I saw, maybe it was on Instagram or something of you like writing, painting. like yeah. watercolor yeah. something. And I was like, Huh. That makes sense. <laughs> See? But I, I never put it to see. It's happened. Put that together. And I just think that, you know, 
I used, I was, I've been very blessed and I'm very grateful for all the press that I've gotten. And I thought just because, you know, whatever magazine wrote about me that everyone in the world read it and they would just right, know. Right. But it wasn't the case. And that's right. exactly what you just said. And I go, okay, I'm so, so tired of people calling or not knowing or even down to the simplest thing. Like, do you do menus or do you do programs? I'm like, yeah, we do. Like, right. don't you know it's like on page 14 of my website? Didn't you right. see it? Yeah. Right, but right. people just don't get it. So anyway, so I just realized I had a mailing list that I did nothing with. I had all these like symptoms, if issues, yes. if you will, that were frustrating me. And I knew where I wanted to take my business and I wanted to get noticed for what I really do. Mm -hmm. So I just kind of like put my brand marketing brain on and was like, okay, I'm going to do something different and I'm going to ha I'm going to do launch CC Style Magazine. I call it a magazine because it's not just a blog where I'm just posting right. random stuff. Each issue is really a uh, very well crafted, as you said, feature and it shows as me as a designer how I find you know creativity or I get inspired and how it translates into my work. As you know the creative director of your brand and there are a lot of things that you want to manage um, yeah. yourself but w how do you determine what things you keep for yourself and that you're still sort of managing and what things you're delegating yeah. to your employees. I think the first step is to go, what do I hate doing? Yeah. And like, <laughs> delegate that right away, yeah. you know, like, and that's okay. Like, and, and I'm like, this has been many years of the beat down of like, I can do it, I can do it. And mm -hmm. then be like, why am I killing myself late night? Because you know, you put off the stuff that you don't mm -hmm. want to do, right? right? Totally. Then think of like, okay, do I have someone on staff that's really good at that? Like, let's say writing your press releases or whatever mm -hmm. it is, or like, I don't know, dealing with press requests, I'm just saying that because we were just talking right. about press, or whatever it is that you hate doing. Selling, for example, you know, like maybe you don't want to do selling yourself anymore. Then you need to hire a salesperson, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah, But it's not just that easy. Right. And that's what I struggled with for a long time because uh, I just thought like, oh, I'm going to hire you. You, you. you say that you're a great salesperson on your resume. Like, <laughs> right. you should get it. Like, right. why aren't you doing an amazing job? And I'm like, right. why don't you think just like me? And, and I just kind of had this realization that you have to take the time and start to create like actual employee guidelines and expectations mm -hmm. and not just for them but for you. Where do you see CC New York in five years? And with um, CC style like I'm curious if you yeah. have other plans with one or the other. Well so um, yeah I mean gosh there's so many dreams and ideas and thoughts but um, in the five-year plan I think I'm working on a big la new launch for next spring which I can't wait it's been so much work and been years in, in, the, in the making really so we're launching a whole new website new collections new CC style like everything's complete makeover I realized that CC style became so heavily focused on my wedding work mm -hmm. but I do so much other mm -hmm. things mm -hmm. right like my mm -hmm. branding business and my consulting business my even just for events other than weddings mm -hmm. or my you know ID business business, I mean, my baby business, I have all these other silos, right, right? right? But they don't quite fit into the mold that I've created for CC Style. Here and there they'll dabble in, but it's not as much. Right, so right. I'm struggling being able to promote that. And then people, here I am again, right? Oh, you do baby stuff? Right, right, right. They're so like, oh, you do, I didn't know you do identity or website design. I'm like, yeah, yeah, we have this whole section. So then he, I'm evolving CC Style now to be able to have those buckets, if you will, right. where I can put that content forward and hopefully teach and educate people to know that I can do that and help them with their businesses. Thank you <laughs> so, so much, much for yeah. coming. You're um, welcome. Really, really awesome. So obviously for more, it's ccnewyork.com. Yeah. And um, her awesome Instagram where you can watch some of her paintings is at CC New York also yes. as well. Yes. yes. And yes. Um, CC Style, you can subscribe on the website. Yep. And that that's kind of it for Besties in Business okay. today. Again, mm -hmm. thanks today to... From from Brooklyn. Today the from Brooklyn, showroom, the Red Patina Showroom. With all the trucks going out in the background. <laughs> and for more amazing advice from fabulous business women, you can visit bestiesinbusiness.com or see us on social media at Besties in Biz. Thank you. <laughs>